It's time for Chicago's annual funny music convention, Fumpfest. This year, we're celebrating Dr. Demento's 50th anniversary with special guest, radio legend Dr. Demento, appearing live and in person. Dr. Demento will be presenting his Festival of Dementia, signing autographs, and hosting the 11th annual Logan Whitehurst Memorial Awards for Excellence in Comedy Music. Fumpfest is taking place August 20th through 22nd at the Western North Shore in Wheeling, Illinois, and will feature performances by Bill Larkin, Carla Albright, Steve Goody, Bad Beth and Beyond, The Gothsicles, Ross Child, The Great Luke Ski, Worm Quartet, Insane Ian, Nuclear Bubble Rap, Harry Dalby, Ian Lockwood, and a special appearance by Sulu from The Dr. Demento Show, plus Demented Karaoke, Dumb Parody Ideas, The Fump Showcase, and more. Visit FumpFest.com to register and book your hotel room. That's F-U-M-P-F-E-S-T dot com. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, meaning I react to these from the perspective of a comedy musician, be they comedy songs. It's weird comedy music inception, I guess. Anyway, this week we're doing another stupendium-filled episode with the remastered re-release of It's a Joy by the Stupendium featuring Dan Bull, as well as Rustages, We Happy Few song featuring the Stupendium. Uh, this is your first time joining us here. Uh, like I said, I try to react to these from a comedy musician's perspective, assuming that the song itself is a comedy music song. Some of Stupendium songs that I've reacted to in the past ended up not being comedy, but still having some clever lines in it, so I try to react to it from that perspective. Uh, other songs that I've reacted to uh, tend to lean heavily more towards comedy music. So that is the main thrust of this show. I try to at least keep it focused that way. Sometimes we do veer. Some Stupendium songs do veer that way, but since Stupendium is the popular one for my channel, uh, I try to react to as many of the songs as possible uh, because people ask for it and kind of uh, like it when I do that. Uh, so that means we pause and we talk about it. Uh, lines that I like, effects that he's using. Uh, I will say, just for all of his videos, though, video quality is always amazing. His production quality is outstanding. I kind of hate him for it, because I wish I could do that. I have no budget in my own videos. It's kind of obvious. Uh, but anyway, enough of dilly-dallying and wishing I was stupendium. Let's get on with the reaction, shall we? Uh, let me make sure my volume's not in a bad place, because that has happened once before. Yeah, that's a little better. All right. Let's watch It's a Joy, his We Happy Few song that came out three years ago when the game came out, and now the remaster is out for 2021. That kind of scary happy face, and it's got a remastered logo now, that's kind of cool. Subscribe for a fresh dose of joy with every new video. I think the pills are called joy. <laughs> I have to say, like, I haven't played We Happy Few, uh, mostly because it, it's very broken, or it was. I don't know if it ever got patched, but it was, it was very broken at launch, and it was very disappointing because I wanted to play it, and a lot of the reports I'd heard were very disheartening. Uh, but uh, the whole face thing and the pills to make you happy, and uh, it's very, it's a, it's an interesting aesthetic. And uh, it's it's something that I, I appreciated that's what made me want to play the game. Uh, and this kind of the Wellies, uh, Beatles meets Austin Powers kind of thing happening. Because I'm, I'm getting a little ming T, which is Austin's band from the movie, uh, vibe from this. But it is a bit more Beatles, especially in the logo. I dig that. <laughs> that's sinister. That's that's deeply, darkly sinister. Oh, you know, who cares where the bodies came from? And we'll be forgiven for all that we've killed. It was the influence of the pill that made us happy and couldn't tell. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, 
A brilliant day is dawning A million smiles are forming Our shimmering miles are on its own No, there's nothing like conforming Yeah, thanks the thought of the morning. Bobby looks sinister Did you ignore the warning? He's all negative thoughts of all My lord, did you take your joy this morning? Asking him about him while he turns and wells That's early with terribly swelled A million years dead at the tower That's very a step between heaven and hell They say that the empire fell That which you never could tell You say you remember it well <laughs> yeah, there's a purpose to the pills, to make everyone forget the horrible things that happened and just be happy. Never mind the horror and the bodies and the carnage and the... Ugh. But the game follows, I think, three different protagonists who are trying to, like, figure out the sinister undercurrent of what's happening in Wellington Wells, which is such a British name. Uh... <laughs> Uh, but yes, the whole face makeup and everybody being just joyful is just, just like, clearly a mask masking the sinisterness underneath is brilliant. And uh, the kind of flow that he's got on this one is just so sing-songy and cheerful. I mean, it, it matches the subject matter somewhat, I mean, of, you know, taking your joy. But uh, yeah, I dig it. Why try to better yourself? Reach for the medical shelf. <laughs> Just take your medicine, get in the best of us now into pleasant locales. Ooh. Another rebellion quelled. Just don't use a spanner's and mouse. It's a remnant of both, so remember how splendid it felt to surrender yourself. And the the lyrics kind of blurring there as the joy pill takes hold. There there are some really good lines in there, and I I, I was going to say it and then I got distracted by the joy lines, so yeah. Take your medicine, death and the pestilence, melt into pleasant locales. That's a great line. Wow. And that's, unfortunately, sometimes of what I've kind of devolved into in these reviews, reactions, I should say, uh, of Stupendium stuff, is because he's so good, it's just me going, oh, that's really good. It's not much of a reaction, but sure, we'll figure it out. I'm wearing a Stupendium shirt. Fanboy. All right, cool. Anyway, moving on. Another rebellion quelled is also a great line. <laughs> As it fades away, the chorus comes in. So good. Well, well, welcome to Wellington Wells. Hear the tins and emulations of the resonant bells. And if you even tells you when they gush about our little town, no need to rush, or you're welcome to settle down. Dan Bull is a happy jack, which I think they had like a happy jack. I know there was DLC for it, but I think they also had, like, a little Happy Jack, like, series before the game came out that was, like, these, like, kind of, like, news reports kind of thing uh, to kind of, like, help with the world building. So to have him play that specific character is also very nice. Better not let me down. You're not a clown, are you? Get off the bench and quell that frown right now, Keanu. Try not to make a scene. Let's get this place away and let you have the cricket back between the place of face of me. Don't make a scene. <laughs> that was just... Yeah, because there's combat, you know, and cricket bat, why not? Shaun of the Dead. Alright, uh, I mean, I use in other things other than Shaun of the Dead. I just remember it most from Shaun of the Dead because I happen to kind of look like Simon Pegg. Anyway. Now, you're not a clown, are you? Get off the bench and quell that frown right now, Keanu. Try not to make a scene. Let's get this place away and let you have the cricket bat between the place of face of me. Don't make a scene. That was just a little bit of lyric. The world in which you live is a little bit of dillic. Because nice. we even sniff this contentment with the killing. Please forgive my sense of humor. I'm a wit satiric. They call me I'm a wit satiric. Ooh, it's a good flip. Me, Uncle Jack, I'm Uncle, Uncle Jack, Black not Happy Jack. Jack. Sorry, Uncle Jack, not Happy Jack. Happy Jack, no, Handsome Jack is the one from Borderlands. Happy Jack, I think is the character Tug Speedman played in, well, Ben Stiller played as Tug Speedman played in Tropic Thunder. It was a, a movie called Happy Jack. And then there's Saucy Jack, which is the Jack the Ripper musical that the guys from Spinal Tap did. I know too much pop culture about the word, the name Jack. 
apparently. Y you do know Jack. Wrong with me. Anyway, we're going back to the this. The world in which you live is a very good idyllic because if we even sniff this content, we're going to kill it. Please forgive my sense of humor. I'm a bit They call me Uncle Jack. I bring a crackle back, dropping silver tongue, twisting numbers on your mouth. Wrap. Now be my guest and enjoy your day. Don't forget to keep adjusting your pool. Nice. To be found in a haven from blue. It's astounding what our medication can do. Oh dear. Lose our town's burning down in a rainbow of hues. Even the sky wouldn't dare to be blue. <laughs> nice. Get it? Because, like, you have blue skies, but you also have the feeling of feeling blue. So even with all the joy, the sky wouldn't dare to be blue. Eh, it's a good flip. I like that. Yeah, that doesn't look ominous. It's a joy. It's a joy. Ah, it's man. A joy. Working that it's into it like that, so good. Just the face paint with the mustache. Like, is the mustache painted on? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, <laughs> That's a good flow there, and also that rhyme scheme ending with otter food just for matching up uh, is a brilliant line. Who would have thought of otter food, but it matches the uh, the Bobby will coddle, uh, codgel you, and oh, also Bobby will codgel you is a great line too. Ah, man, because the stick is the Bob uh, also called a codgel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Into powder. Then I dump the ground for round and round. Just spin a rock and it bubble. It's a bubble, nothing to smooth and cuddle. It's bubble and bubble. You Bobby will codgel you. Codgel, codgel, codgel. I was mispronouncing it, but yeah. To the bones of your body is lots of food. Torture you, jauntily torture you. If you fall, the thoughts that we ought to use torture you. Jauntily torture you. Because we're on joy, so your torture will be happy. Uh huh. <laughs> That's a good line too. <laughs> uh, the, fact is, the fact is, you can't react not knowing what redacted. Uh, he was originally saying what the fact is, but that's having it, having the the line be redacted, but also having redacted actually rhyme. Whoa, that's good. You can't react not knowing what redacted. No need to grieve if you can't see diseases we redacted. <laughs> Contracted, redacted. Yeah, that's good stuff. It's made by those who grieve. The fact is, you can't react not knowing what redacted. No need to grieve if you can't see diseases we redacted. Happiness and truth, we simply view them through a lens. Redacted. Refracted. Life's a breeze when you can leave uneasy deeds redacted. Oh, there was a whole line that was redacted. What was the... If you can't see diseases, we protect you. Happiness and truth, we simply view them through a lens. Protect you. Help me please while this melody has them distracted. Whew! <laughs> and it goes by so quick because they come in and redact the whole line with the Bobby coming in saying his verse, or his line there. And like, yeah, holding him down to put the pill in his mouth. I remember this from the promos and stuff. Help me please, whilst this melody has them distracted, is replaced by... Life's a breeze, life's a breeze gonna... <laughs> redacted. Perfect. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> it's a joy, it's a 
Oh yeah, I remember that clip too. You're hitting a uh, pinata because you're on the joy pills, not realizing that you have just uh, murdered someone. I think that might be it, considering you hit it and blood comes out and stuff. Delicious candy pills are wearing off. I can see why this one has been recommended so much, not just because it's definitely entertaining and has very clever, humorous lines in it, but also it's a bop. It's a good song. Oh, it's a rat. That's what it was. Not candy. Rat gun. Running away in the sewers look almost vault like. Uh, now his pill is kicked in, and he's back all better. Yeah, that. Well, hello there. Those promos were great. It has been a long time. Has the the promo images were so good. I I I wish the game had done better. I wish the game wasn't as broken as it was when it released. If it has been patched, and is playable and good now, and expands on the ideas that they had in the game that didn't from the reviews really seem like they expanded well on, let me know in the comments, because it's cheap now and maybe I'll play it. That'd be a thing. Hasn't it? Have you been taking your joy? I do hope you have. Just look at all these jolly folks who've been taking their joy over on Patreon. Yes, Patreon joy. Little ditty. I was ever so happy oh, there's my name. Time, but looking back, I could have been happier. <laughs> so I thought it was time to give you all a fresh prescription. If you enjoyed the song, yes, the outro is new. Comment, subscribe, take your joy, and ring the bell, and make sure you visit the Wellington Wells to bend him gift shop for the new "It's a Joy" new poster. poster by my good friend Jolin. Yes. In the meantime, have a wonderful day. Yes, Jolin of Jolin can't draw, proving that they actually can draw and draw very well. Even did a drawing of me once, which I was very honored by. So thanks for that. Uh, but yeah. Go check out Stupendium's channel, his video, if you want to see this video without me yammering all over it, of course, the link is in the description. But now, onward to the next song. Make a choice. Thrustage. I figured thematically it would, you know, be nice to stick through these. Writing the papers, waiting, patient, pushing back the lever. I heard an ancient voice inside my head, a wounded griever. Pop a pain reliever, swallow the joy, it's a pain conceiver. Wait and see the world and all its painted trees and make believe I'm sick to death. This is a candy, it's blood on my breath. Yeah, going back to what I said about that shot before, this one's a bit more somber. Not nearly as joyous, but it is about the game itself and about the, the kind of moralistic choices that you're having to make in the game. Uh, meaning that, you know, either you're under the influence of the joy and not realizing the horrible things that you're committing, or that you are pretending to be on the pills and having to either uncover secret things or, you know, do naughty while playing nice, I guess. Whatever. Out of my depth, wishing to locate a brother I promise protecting but lacking the strength. Now I'm an outcast, surrounded by faces without past. There's memories trapped in my brain, and we're living a lie that we can't last. I don't know why, but I thought the rhyme about the mask would come up, but uh. I think that's Stupendium on the hook. <laughs> Cheer up, everyone. The doctor's in. Oh, and now. As the doctor, I suppose. Want advice to survive? Happy to. Want to thrive and just do as the happy do? Don't ask me for asking for a back a few drugs. You'll be snug as a bug with the happy few. So nice. Blocking my sinister style. I'm the dog who admitted to smiles. Just a drop on your grinning and mile irresistible tipple for triple beguile. Ooh, the trip will beguile. 
nice. Yeah, because when you're on drugs, uh, be they uh, uh, usually not uh, pharmaceuticals, but recreational drugs, you're tripping, and the trip will beguile you. It makes you happy. Oh, it'll entertain you. Good. It's a good line, is what I'm saying. I also uh, spoke to Stipendium about this song thing. I was going to pair it with the uh, the remaster, and he said uh, a lot of the lines that he wrote for this song, he wishes he'd kept for his song. <laughs> So that's cool. <laughs> Just forget all the memories you had. Rest assured they were terribly bad. Remember, he said you'd have to be mad. Just make yourself melt to be savagely glad. <laughs> savagely glad. <laughs> that's good. And the thing about these videos, other than the live action bits that, that Stupendium put in his, is that, you know, their songs about games, so they're going to use game footage. So it's. Uh, you know the the new elements for for the last video are very good and very well produced and everything. Uh, a lot of the nerdcore stuff uh, uses just clips; doesn't do a lot of original elements to it, uh, and so it's hard to kind of gauge or judge, react to something like that, give a a reaction from a perspective of someone. Because I, you know, I will do that too occasionally in my songs, be they pop uh, pop culture songs like this video I just did about Kang. It's all clips from Loki. So, uh, having something like this, uh, again, it doesn't distract from the song. You want something to enhance it, though, and the song is about the game, so they're kind of enhancing each other. So, it's a good element to have. <laughs> but more originality is always better, <laughs> The laugh is almost disturbing, though. I remember tanks, I remember bullets and the people that were hanged I remember parents who were clinging to their children Begging Germans not to drag away their bodies to the camps I remember, I remember too much Feeling like an addict and this drug is not enough No longer act tough, hit another joy, it's lovely stuff Yes, hide all the horrors with happy pills This one's a bit uh, less on the comedy side This is more about the actual sinister underworkings of the game it's an interesting pairing I've suddenly done. Uh, but yes, uh, definitely delving more into the the direness of what's actually going on in We Happy Few. The, the uh, irony of the title. We're happy because we're taking happy pills, but we're being uh, clouded in and obstructed from what's actually going on. That's Say hello to my neighbor, hi Feeling great till the day I die Wear a smile, wipe your eyes It's great to get high of your own supply Okay Hey, nice Knocking back a bomb with a treasure You make a choice to be You make a choice I almost didn't really say that well. It was words, and they kind of got scrambled. Knocking back a bomb with a cricket bat is what I tried to say. I'm not sure how what I actually said. I'm sure someone will try to decipher what actually came out of my face. And I just realized saying that is definitely fodder for Ian out of context, so there's that. You make a choice to be there was you make a choice to be That's almost it, man. <laughs> you make a choice to be you make a choice. <laughs> You make a choice to be you the make crack a choice man, to like the promo. There it is. Yeah, the promo images. Bravo. Ooh, and the laugh turning to crying. Hello, Oof. thank you for watching. If you like that video, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to see more of my content. Also, make sure to like and comment. I do, in fact, read every comment. Thank you to the Stupendium for helping out with this track. Make Bravo sure to, to Rustage on YouTube that channel. song. That if was you very want to good. If you're updated on my content and general well being, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm at Daniel Rustage. The link will also Excellent be in the description. Excellent stuff. And finally, thank you to my patrons. If you're interested in getting access Go to check out Rustage's chat, channel and, source, and his and stuff. More, consider supporting it. And, uh, slash Rustage. you know, of course, Thank link you to the original video day. is in the description below, so that uh, if you want to check out the song without me yammering over it, go check out the link in the description below. Alright, two songs about We Happy Few. One a bit more humorous than the other. Uh, dark humor, gallows humor, of course, uh, but uh, given the subject matter of the game, that's kind of an expected given. Uh, both excellent songs. Thanks for joining me this week. We're going to have more next week. Next week is Fumpfest. 
which is, you know, the comedy music festival here in the Chicagoland area that I MC and, and host and stuff, and I'm performing at it, and also the Logan Awards are there, and all sorts of other things, so I think next week I'm gonna maybe react to some things that are nominated to a Logan Award that I haven't already reacted to. Uh, so, uh, that's gonna be next week. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Happy. Don't worry about pollution Or if I'll even keep my job Cause I found one great solution Is to be a brain dead slob Yes, I'm happy, so happy Cause my lobotomy Yes, I'm happy, so happy